Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. So at the shop, it is, um, it's a weekend. So you know what that means? I'm working on my own stuff. A um, little update of what's going on. Nothing's moving over there. I finally got the harness for that. I think I put that in the last video. Sitting right there. I just need to move stuff around and get that out of here. But priority was, and still is, the SS454 with the LT4 stuff in it. This thing is um, super close. The list is super small on this. Um, I need to just chase a couple of wires for the wipers because I had to remove the whole engine harness. The engine harness, part of the engine harness is chassis harness. So uh, yeah, wipers, it's all wired except for one wire. And then I think, oh, there was an issue with the, the fuel level sender. And um, also it has a Holly alternator on it now. So I had to change the wiring. The factory alternator uses a five volt reference wire and the computer controls the charging. And I put a, I believe 250 amp alternator on there just because, well, just because. But since it is the weekend, I am working on my little dream boat. Um, I ran out to POL the other day, that's performance online. After talking to a couple of the guys over there and doing my research, my due diligence as it would be, uh, I decided to go ahead and go with the, the rack kit that they make. Um, here it is. It's already installed. I was kind of up in the air until I got it installed. It fits very nicely. No holes drilled. This is where your um, idler arm would normally mount. And on this side, two bolt holes go right where your, pip, where your steering gearbox would have mounted. Um, you know what? It was a pretty straightforward install. Um, I didn't actually get a complete kit from them. I got the rack and the bracket and tie rod ends. Um, I supplied my own jam nuts right here, which I'm sure come with their kit. And uh, what else? Really nothing. Um, the fuel, the power steering pump on this was already for rack. So when I transferred it over, it worked just fine. Um, the couplers, as you can see up there, Flaming River with a three quarter D shaft um, down to another flaming river with a three quarter D shaft, the actual drive shaft on the rack um, is three quarter. So that's cool. Put the whole thing together. I shortened up. This is the factory 1967 steering or uh, steering column. Yeah. And I'm using the stock shifter with a modified arm to work the transmission which is a 4L85E. And uh, I was able to shorten that end shaft up and then machine it down to a D. It's a solid shaft and then drill countersink into it for the jam bolts. Uh, and then of course Loctite because, um, well, because your ass depends on it. So that's what I did there. Um, this thing is filthy because I have been driving it everywhere. Um, I don't know if I've ever, done a tour underneath here, but uh, behind the bumper, there's a bumper, a couple of holes drilled in it, is the trans cooler right here. Trans cooler has a shroud and fans on the back. This is a Holly piece. Um, actually, it's an Earl's piece, and uh, Earl's and Holly are one and the same. Um, everything under here is filthy because I, like I said, have been driving it everywhere. I did just get an email the other day that my transmission's all done over at the trans shop. The transmission, sorry, the six speed uh, Transilla is all done with a tighter fifth and sixth. So it should be more fun on the freeway. And uh, also, so I'm up in the air. I'm going to LS Fest here at the end of this month. And I'm still up in the air as to which one I'm going to drive. If it's going to be the truck or the Chevelle. Yeah, I'm, I'm still torn. Don't know. They're both so much fun to drive, and uh, it's it's hard to say. Uh, let me see. I should do it by tire. If I'm going to do it by tire, I should probably take the Chevelle. Um, but, yeah, up in the air. Uh, in the comments, let me know what you think I should drive. The 66 Chevelle. It no, doesn't have boost anymore. Or the C10 with all the boost. Um, yeah, I guess I start wiping stuff down under here. Uh, nothing's messed up. It's, nothing's broke. 
It's weird. I think I found the rattle though. The exhaust is really close. Yeah, here's the rattle. So I may want to rotate that around. Um, other than that, I think, uh, I think life is good. All right, I'm gonna take this thing over and pressure wash it because it's pretty dirty under the hood. And then take it out and cruise it, cruise it around with my new rack and pinion. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, you guys, thanks for checking out the video. I know this was a short one, but you know, I wanna get in the wind. Get this thing, I'm gonna sweep up in here and get this thing out in the weather. Um, that's it, stay safe out there, see you later.